Hello, uh, I'm, I'm going to be solving University of Abuja Physics course UTME past question. So, question one of the physics course UTME past question of University of Abuja says, What is the dimension for velocity? What is the dimension for velocity? A. ML. B. LT raised to the power of minus one. C. MT. D, L raised to the power of minus 2, and E, M raised to the power of 3, L raised to the power of minus 1. So this question falls under the topic of dimension analysis. And in dimension analysis, in physics, you make use of the unit of the quantity given to determine the dimension. So, in other words, just to rephrase what I have just said, when you want to determine the dimension of any quantity, whether velocity, be it acceleration, or any other quantity, momentum, impulse, you use the unit. You first of all, determine the unit of that dimension before proceeding to uh, get or to obtain the dimension from the unit. So how do you do this? I'm going to give a couple of examples before I proceed. So, so let's let's use the uh, quantity of mass let's use mass now we know that the uh, unit of mass the SI unit of mass is kilogram or kg now as far as dimension is concerned mass anything on that mass represented on that mass is you know the dimension is expressed as m for length for length the SI unit of anything in length is expressed in meters and its dimension is expressed as m now for time The SI unit of time is in seconds and in dimension, its dimension is expressed as T. Mm. So, having established the um, dimensions of the basic quantities that pretty much make up almost every, you know, the units of every quantity or that comprise every other quantity, we can proceed to find the dimension for velocity by. Uh, obtaining the unit of velocity and the unit of velocity basically can be obtained from its formula so you know that velocity right is expressed as the displacement over time now displacement over time. Displacement is measured in meters and time is measured in seconds. So you have meter per second. I'm going to express it this way. This is also meter per second. Now from uh, what we have here from the dimension the basic the dimension of the basic, the basic quantities we have here we know that meters is a function or meters the dimension of meter can be expressed as l so let me just write it and then for seconds it's time so t and then raised to the power of minus one so Dimension for velocity as we have obtained here. I'm going to write this whole movie up here. It's LT raised to the power of minus one. And from our options, that is option B. So, as we have determined, the dimension for velocity is LT raised to the power of minus one.